this video I'm going to show you how to do the bass shake effect in Premiere Pro just like this. So we are now here in Premiere Pro. I have here my music track and I have here my video stock footage track. And first you want to do is you drag a little bit of the audio for you can see better the waveform and also zoom into your timeline for you can see it better. Now we listen to the audio to identify the bass. Alright, now we go back to the beginning. This time we're gonna listen again and also hit the M button for set on marker on the bass lines. Like this. Alright. Now we have here the markers on our timeline. Important is to, when you make the markers, don't click a track, don't click the audio, don't click the video track. If not, the markers only will be on the specific track. It's better to have nothing selected. So you have the markers here, here on your timeline. Now right click in the empty folder or click on the new item button. And what we need now is an adjustment layer. We're going to drag this adjustment layer to the first marker, just like that. Now click on the effect panel and type in directional blur. Click and drag it on top of your adjustment layer so that you'd see it right here. In blur length type in 30. You can go higher or lower just like you want but I like how it sort of looked exactly like that. Now we zoom in a little, little bit more into the timeline that you can see each frame. We select the razor tool and click forward one frame, cut, click forward, cut, click forward, cut. You do this a few times. Zoom in a little bit, go back to our selection tool and we delete every second adjustment layer part so that we have one frame empty, one frame with the adjustment layer. Okay, I think three is a good spot. Let's see how that look. All right, what we're gonna do now, we select all these three adjustment layer pieces, hold Alt and click and drag it to the next marker. As you see here in this music track, we have like a double bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that to have four pieces for the two hits from the bass. So we're going to do this with all the different markers with four or with three adjustment layer pieces. All right, let's see how it looks. All right, and here we go. So easy and fast it can be to have your, to have this bass shaking effect. If this video was helpful for you, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye.